Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again, and this is Fahad Hussain. In this video, I shall only explain about a very important chapter of SSC level chemistry and of O level chemistry, which is chemical reactions. And this is a big chapter, and there are a lot of things to be studied. And I just only write it down what are the main contents of this chapter, and also pick some sort of uh, formula that how we can memorize what are the types of chemical reactions that we need to study if you think closely that what are the contents of this chapter and why this chapters naming as a chemical reactions because in the previous chapters like when you studied about stat, uh, structure of matter you studied about the structure of atom and then you studied periodic table and then chemical bond and then you studied about <clears throat> the mole or the molar concept of stoichiometry and after that in this chapter we will be thinking about the chemical reactions because we know about the periodic table we know that how the molecules will will react and we know some sort of basic of chemistry and then this is another type of basic that we need to know that how many types of chemical reactions are there uh, and and most importantly you see the contents that in this chapter we need to study the changes of matter and we know that there are two types of changes in matter like physical change and chemical change the classifications of chemical reactions are this so number two the reflection is this that what how many types of chemical reactions are there though I am I'm just taking this class as an academic way so I'm just following the books what is actually the syllabus but there are a lot of other types of chemical reactions available very important is oxidation number we need to study about the oxidation number very well in a different class and of course most important things in this chapter is very common in a question paper about redux and the question is prove that redux is simultaneous process and we will be discussing about it redux it means a type of reactions though i just wrote it in here in a different options but this is one type of reactions is about the redux and oxidation together it's called redux and then the chemical reactions in reality in this point we need to understand how rust is forming in the upper surface of rods or even metals when it is open and then then this reaction is going on with oxygen and water and with the rods i mean iron and then we need to think about a rate of reactions that in how many times i mean the amount of product is producing per time it can be per second it can be per minute or it can be per hour so the rate of productions or the rate of reactant per time is called the rate of reactions and then the most interesting and important topic of this chapter is La Chatelier principle and to understand La Chatelier principle well we need to understand first the chemical equilibrium so in this chapter is about a lot of things and if we know that how to deal with this chapter then it will be easier for you to understand this chapter concept clearly now you see I have just written the types of chemical reactions primarily we can divide it into three ways like based on directions based on heat change and based on electron transfer now you see that based on directions we can say that all chemical reactions can be two types like irreversible and reversible what does it mean actually in this case irreversible means that when reactant will react and they will produce the product it will never come back I mean the product will be the product and they will never create the reactant once again like we know that calcium carbonate when it is heated it will create calcium oxide and carbon dioxide when these reactions will be ongoing the reactant will only produce the product and it's not coming back and that is why it's called the irreversible reactions but in this case reversible reactions the word itself explaining the type of reactions the reversible means product 
is producing from the reactant after some time the product will again create the reactant so it means it's an ongoing process like whenever you see that hydrogen and iodine is reacting each other and this symbol will be used to express the reversible reaction and this is hydrogen iodide I'm just giving you some idea that how to think about this chapter because explaining this everything completely in one tutorial it's impossible from me because uh, I, I actually can't do it because I need to make it a segmentation of this chapter and then I need to upload it to make you understand every single context. Now think about the reversible reaction. It means that the product will be produced from the reactant first and then again product will be dissociated to produce the reactant. And the, the sign of a reversible reaction is this. This is very important. And the sign of irreversible reaction is this, that means in one direction. So it will only produce product from the reactant. So this is unidirectional. But this is, I mean, reversible. So this sign is also tells about the types of reactions. So, based on electron transfer, this is very, very important. Either electron is transferring, I mean something is releasing electron and some other part is accepting the electrons. If this electron transferring is happening, then this is called redox reaction. I mean, reduction and oxidation will be happening in this chemical reactions. But in some other cases, redox, I mean the reduction and oxidation is not happening. That is why it's called non-redox reaction. If you see the types of redox reaction, this is very important. Addition reaction, decomposition reaction, substitution reaction and combustion reaction these four reactions are very important to memorize that what is the meaning of it and the word itself explaining the types of reactions addition means two to three that means more than one reactant will react and they will form a single compounds that is addition just opposite is the decomposition one molecule will be dissociated and they will produce two or three another compounds like think about it addition reaction it means suppose hydrogen and oxygen is reacting and they are producing water this is addition reaction nitrogen and hydrogen is reacting and they are producing ammonia this is addition reaction something is addition is going on but in case of decomposition it means that in this case in this case decomposition reaction one molecules or one compounds will be dissociated like if we take these equations like that this is a dissociation reaction or decomposition reaction like one molecule will be dissociated and two or three compounds or different molecules will be produced so this is decomposition reaction substitution means one molecule will be substitute to create another new molecules i'll be coming up with this like even you know that when zinc is reacting with sulfuric acid and then producing zinc sulfate and hydrogen is the substitute so hydrogen will be substituted so this is the substitution reaction and combustion means it's actually one type of oxidation anything that is reacting with oxygen like carbon is reacting with oxygen it's carbon dioxide production sulfur reacting with oxygen sulfur dioxide production nitrogen reacting with oxygen nitrogen dioxide is producing so that is called the combustions so I'm just giving you a hint I'll be explaining these whole things again with more detail think about non redox where electron transfer is not happening neutralization reaction this is very important when an acid and base will react together acid and base will always produce the same thing that is salt and water when acid and balance will produce salt and water this reaction types is called neutralization reaction and whenever you have idea any acid like sulfuric acid nitric acid carbonic acid phosphoric acid whatever all type of inorganic acid you know you can react with your known base like sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, zinc hydroxide, whatever. Then you'll have 
the neutralization reaction. It means acid and base is producing salt and water. Think about precipitation reaction. Something will precipitate. I mean, when as in solutions, in a solutions, when two solutions is reacting each other, something will precipitate. So that is called the precipitation reaction. And in this point, we need to understand about the Tollen reagent. Of course, I'm coming with them. And then there are some special type of reactions also, and these are called the hydrolysis, different thing, hydration, isomerization, and polymerization. Some students may have some problem regarding these two. What is the hydration and hydrolysis? So these are actually different. Hydrolysis means when water will be reacting and some sort of fragmentation will happen in between the molecules. This is called hydrolysis. But in case of hydration, the total molecule of water will be attached as a lattice water. And that is called hydration. So there is a fundamental difference between the hydrolysis and hydration. And you see about isomerization and polymerization. You definitely think about ammonium cyanate, which will be producing urea, is one type of revolutionary uh, changes, and that is called isomerization. When two molecules, two different compounds, uh, properties are different, but their formula, the molecular formula are same. The number of atoms, number of molecules are same, but their properties and the compounds are different. They are called isomerization. Like I said, that ammonium cyanate will be forming urea. Here are the properties of ammonium cyanate and urea is completely different. But the number of molecules and number of atoms of ammonium cyanate and urea are same. This is called isomerization. In case of polymerization, you think about PVC, polyvinyl chloride, or you can think about polythene when the number of molecules is combined together and creates some big molecules with the huge atomic numbers or uh, atomic mass. This is called polymerization, like ethene. Number of ethene molecule is added together and form polythene, or even number of vinyl chloride molecule is added together and produce polyvinyl chloride. This is the example of polymerizations. Now think about the change of heat. When heat changes, happens in the reactions then based on that two types of uh, reactions we can have exothermic and endothermic in this case when product will be producing then some sort of some amount of heat will be evolved and then when after reactions heat will be evolved then this is called exothermic reaction and that amount of heat is producing as del H and you must know the sign of del H in case of exothermic is minus and in case of endothermic the opposition that the amount of heat will be absorbed when product will produce and in this case del H will be positive Think about uh, whenever you just think about the nitrogen and hydrogen well, they are producing ammonia. Nitrogen and hydrogen while producing ammonia, 92 kilojoule per mole amount of energy will be produced. And this is an exothermic reaction because energy is evolved. I mean, heat energy is evolving, and that is del H equals to minus 92 kilojoule per mole. But whenever you see an endothermic reaction like nitrogen and oxygen is reacting each other and they are producing nitric oxide that is 2NO and 180.6 kJ per mole energy will be absorbed in this reaction. This is the example of endothermic reaction. So this is a very simple, I mean it's just like a superficial uh, description about this chapter that I just said what should we read about it and you see the content this every single content is important student of English versions student of Carrot College and from wherever you are watching this video please emphasize on this chapter do not skip anything read every single line try to understand the concept why the molecules are reacting each other and how it's producing and see the table that we can divide these chemical reactions into three types and again I'm just saying that you that based on directions we can say that is irreversible and reversible irreversible means what it won't come back but in case of reversible both things are happening like 
product and reactant they're coming back together and this is a ongoing process think about the based on electron transfer if electron transfer is happening then we call it redox reaction or if there is no electron transfer is happening then we call it non redox reaction in case of redox you can see the name of the reactions that addition decomposition substitution and combustions but in case of non redox think about neutralization and precipitation also you need to know some special names of chemical reactions hydrolysis hydration isomerization and polymerization think about the based on heat changes about exothermic and endothermic and you must know one thing that in case of exothermic the del h value should be minus and in case of endothermic del h value should be plus how this plus and minus going on and what are the more elaboration i'm coming up with the next video and i hope to see you soon and of course when you study please give your full efforts and try to understand with full happiness and joy so i'm coming up with the next video with elaboration of all single type of reactions that i'm watching here and one thing is important i'm coming up with another things redox and which is a very common in a question paper that proves that redox is a simultaneous process and one thing is also important is very common that is la chatelier principle if you want to see from that point of view that which part is very important from this chapter i must say redox and oxidation number and la chatelier principle before going to explain la chatelier principle we need to know about chemical equilibrium so see you on the next class take care stay well